Coming up on Fresh Dev, we're back. I don't always test my code, but when I do, it's in production. Hey everyone, welcome to another long, outstanding episode of Fresh Dev. I can't believe we're actually doing another episode of Fresh Dev. It's been like 17 years since we've done it. Can't believe it. Uh, I'm your host, Matt, and I'm joined by Scott. Scott, welcome to the program. Thanks for having me. Um, so this is the show where we sit down with developers, designers, kind of um, coders, people who are you know, in this stuff, stuff that's way above my head uh, and we try to break it down make it a little bit more simple for you um, it's a great compliment to some of the press this stuff that we do some of the seo launch stuff that we do uh, we try to make coding and, and tweaking css and stuff for your wordpress site a little bit easier uh, we want to hit over a thousand subscribers so go ahead and hit subscribe we're almost there like us <laughs> yeah definitely uh, we're somewhere in the range of uh, eight to nine hundred folks uh, who have liked us uh, and subscribed to us on YouTube so keep it up what do you want to hear what are you struggling with uh, in your day-to-day -day development of WordPress today we're going to talk about developing WordPress designing WordPress locally yeah not in a live production because yeah. that wouldn't be right no you don't want to do that <laughs> you don't want to do that <laughs> um, we want to talk about what people can do locally on their machines, working with a client, working on their new site without having to upload to their web host. Um, so what do they got, Scott? What, what kind of tools can people get access to to develop locally? Uh, we got a couple of different tools here. Um, if you're on a Mac, there's software called MAMP, M-A-M-P. Uh, Windows, there's a software called XAMP, X-A-M-P. Uh, there's also VirtualBox, um, and you could, of course, get a real host. Right. You could actually get a real live uh, web host, right, for folks that aren't, you know, aren't realizing this, but you could just get a development domain under your web hosting. You exactly. dev.scott.com mm -hmm. uh, or put it in a subdomain of your live site if you feel venturous where you don't, you know, don't mind people kind of digging down through directories. It could be scott.com slash my test site. Um, but more, more importantly, we want to talk about, you know, the benefits of, uh, developing and designing not on production. Yeah. What are those benefits, Scott? All right. So basically you'll have no downtime on your production server. Let's mm -hmm. say you're making a modification, you send something up, you have a little glitch or a little error in your code. All of a sudden your production site's not loading and now you have to go and kind of figure that out. Mm -hmm. Uh, developing on an you know either another server or locally will allow you to fix all those bugs and test everything uh, you know before you actually go ahead and move that to production yeah. so you don't have much downtime there yeah and, and and the benefit of that obviously is and you know depends on who's watching the show and you, you probably are a beginner out there someone mm -hmm. who's watching the show you are a beginner um, raise your hand <laughs> uh, the here's what you're doing client says Hey, I want to change the background color of my WordPress website. Can you do that for me? Sure, no problem. You go in and you wipe out the CSS by accident. Whoops. Totally takes <laughs> out their site. The site's there, but it's all blank because you, you know, you've removed some style. We want to get you away from doing that. We want you to work locally on a staging site, a test site. You know, you're taking a backup of your of your client's website, working on it locally. Make the changes here. Make sure it all looks good and then push it up to the to the production server. Exactly, and I think it's worth noting that it does take maybe a little bit more time, fraction of a second, mm -hmm. to uh, get the staging server set up, but in the long run, you'll save yourself some time, definitely. Exactly, exactly. What other benefits do we have here? Um, basically, if you have your solution working on your local host, you can pretty much be guaranteed unless, you know, for some different, for some reason there's a different environment set up um, that it will work on production. So as soon as you move it from your local uh, host or your dev server um, to production, you can pretty much be guaranteed it will work right away. Uh, you're able to debug and test various different aspects, mm. themes, plugins, mm -hmm. widgets, um, CSS styling, HTML. Yeah, um, and that, that's a great point because as of WordPress 3.6 something or WordPress 3.6, there's a live preview of themes 
right? And that's great. I mean, you can yes. put up a theme and, hey, it looks great. But if you have a really heavily customized WordPress site, that little quick preview window might not work, right? It might not, you know, and you can only test that whatever homepage that it's showing. Yeah. It's a really basic way of testing. It shouldn't be a, uh, is this really super compatible with my, with my website, with my WordPress website? So you want to take all that stuff and test, hey, I'm moving to a new theme. Does my product page work? Yeah. Does my contact page work? You know, all these different pages that are within your WordPress sites, not just your homepage, all this other stuff you have to worry about. Yeah, uh, it w wouldn't be such a good idea uh, to test if that works on production. Yeah, you know? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, and these tools that we talked about, MAMP and ZAMP uh, for Mac and Windows, these are little apps that you run that create these little website environments, these little web hosting environments within the laptop or your desktop, whatever. And you just put the files over there and you load it up in a browser yeah. as if you, as if you were going to like google.com, you would just type in an IP address or type in localhost slash whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, and it would pull up your little staging environment. So super important to use that. Um, and if you are familiar with servers as well, it gives you pretty much the same directory structure as mm -hmm. um, any of the giant hosts out there. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll be familiar once you go, you know, dabbling through all the files and whatnot. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to take it a step further, if you want to say, you know what, I want to really advance my career as a developer, as a designer. I need to learn Linux, right? I need to know mm -hmm. what this command line stuff is all about because I hear all these people at WordCamps and developer conferences saying, hey, you know, command line interface, Perl scripts, <laughs> shell scripting, you know, what, what is that? <laughs> what the heck is all this stuff? Uh, you can try out something like VirtualBox, open source. It's a virtualization uh, app that you can actually install, you know, Linux environments or even Windows environments if you're running on, on Mac. Uh, and you can build these little Linux environments and, and test out installing Apache, installing PHP. Uh, we'll provide you some links uh, in, in this video and in the show notes so that you can find these little tutorials on how to put these little uh, staging environments together. Um, and you'd be actually be FTPing or SSHing just like you would your WordPress web host. Yeah. Uh, so pretty amazing stuff. Yeah, it, it, I imagine that would help your workflow as far as, you know, getting used to how do you FTP and send files up to the server and yeah. if you're not used to that, you know. Yeah. Uh, definitely some handy stuff. Um, you know, it, it is pretty simple to set up the ZAMP and, and MAMP stuff. You just clicking install, yeah. um, the virtual box and setting up Linux. That's going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more, uh, time consuming. And then you can go the route of getting a real web host to just put all your staging stuff on. Mm -hmm. Just register a, a domain that you want to use just for testing, just for your development environment and just upload all your stuff there. And you can share that with clients. You can share that with your team. Um, password protect it, things like that, keep people out. Um, so that, you know, definitely a great tip. Yeah, and I think a uh, development server is definitely great if you want to, like you said, mentioned uh, sharing with your clients mm -hmm. or, you know, other members of your team. Um, the one thing I do want to mention is this software is free, uh, the two uh, or three pieces of software that we talked about for your local server. So you can just download this for free right off the internet and it won't cost you anything as opposed to a, a real web host might cost you a little bit of money. A little bit of money, yeah. And it is important to know that these local apps, they're running locally on your machine. Great for you, not great when you want to share it with the client because the client, unless you're in front of them, yeah. they can't see what you see. Um, so if you, if you do eventually say, you know what, I'm going to dev locally and then I'm going to get a Linux host to, or a, a WordPress web host to, to host that environment to show my clients, that would be step two. Mm -hmm. So you d develop locally, then you start pushing changes to a, a, an environment that only your clients can see, and then you make it live. Make yeah. it like a three-step process. Before you know it, you're a real WordPress web shop that's uh, taking over the world like the rest of us. <laughs> um, so that's that. If you have any questions on what the heck we mean by local WordPress development, uh, drop a question down in the comments. Subscribe. We want to hit over 1,000 subscribers. So go ahead and hit the YouTube subscribe button. Uh, let us know what you like. Let us know what you don't like. Uh, and what you want to know about coding, development, design, CSS stuff, tweaking your WordPress website. What is it that you're struggling with? Let us know. I dropped my pen cap. Uh, <laughs> thanks, everybody. Slocumstudio.com slash subscribe to stay in touch. Thanks, guys.